Lawrence. There's no one to maintain the Sears. Ten years after people. In Chicago's city center, the landmark 110-story Sears Tower is slowly deteriorating. After the Great Chicago Fire of 1871, the city began rebuilding vertically with new frames of steel. It was the dawn of the skyscraper. Now, rainwater rots the Sears Tower's roof. Moisture seeps down into the structure and begins rusting the bolts holding the giant glass and aluminium panels on the exterior. Freezing wind, rain and snow off Lake Michigan violently batter the hulking structure. Some of the plates peel off the building and crash into the streets below. It's 200 years into a life after people. In Chicago, the Sears Tower is finally beginning to totter. Decades of ferocious weather have battered the landmark into a hollowed-out, honeycombed husk. The Sears Tower has 104 separate lifts with multiple shafts ending at different levels of the building. Although the cables rust and snap, the lift's brakes continue to work. Eventually, they too corrode and finally give way. You'll have these 104 elevators at different times, of course, come down those shafts, blasting through the floors like a bomb, cutting through the building, and of course, further dragging down the floors and the structure around them. Only two lifts connect the ground floor to the observation deck over a quarter of a mile above the street. One of the three-ton lift cabs free falls from the top floor, hitting the ground floor at more than 200 miles an hour, generating more than one and a half million pounds of force on impact. What will break the building's back are the 114 pilings driven into the bedrock that hold up the structure. The real Achilles heel in the Sears Tower is you've got eight floors underground. And once you have a life without people, those floors are going to fill with water. Flooding from the Chicago River weakens the lower interior columns supporting the building causing it to collapse. It could finally reach a point where it just simply falls all at one time. Into one just giant heaping mass of twisted metal and concrete and glass. 